Look like it's recording. What's up, everybody? OMB. Long time no see. Move this microphone over a little bit here. I'm still here. I ain't went nowhere. I mean, I did, but I mean, like in the physical, not as far as the channel. See, with this type of business I'm doing now, I can't work and talk and make videos, B. Mm -mm. No green screen effect today. It's just the green screen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I ain't talked about Deontay Wilder in a while, huh? <laughs> yeah, buddy. You know what I'm actually thinking, though? And I've been thinking it for a while. I just haven't been saying that. And I'm, I've been saying it in other videos, too. Your boy Tyson Fury scared. He's scared. I think he's going to forfeit this fight. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. I just think he's going to forfeit this fight. And you know what? They say it's going to cost him a lot of money, right? A lot of money. I got a question. Do any of y'all think Tyson Fury is lacking any money to give away? I don't. Matter of fact, let's bring a little light to the situation. All he has to do is do a little thing that uh uh what's old boy did when he when it was time for him to fight Lennox Lewis. I forgot his name, boy from Brooklyn. Forgive me for that, man, because I, I, I love you guys to death. And he still be out here talking about fighting, but anyway. Riddick Bo. You know how Riddick Bo did when he took them belts and dropped them in that dang on garbage can. Know what I'm saying? Because he ain't want to fight Lennox Lewis. I think your boy Tyce Fury going to do the same damn thing to Deontay Wilder. Here's the logic behind that. Okay, let's say the, he got to give up. 20 million to, to Wilder. Maybe even 50 million. Let's just hypothetically speak. Do y'all think that's hurting Tyson Fury? He been getting British money. He's been, matter of fact, he's supposed to have had COVID and he was walking around, uh, uh, um, uh, what is it, uh, um, Las Vegas. Taking pictures. He's supposed to have COVID. He didn't show no signs of, of, of quarantine. Not even to this day from, from my understanding. I'm like, well, dang, dude. And then you make Deontay Wilder wait three months, but Deontay Wilder has something to say here. <laughs> the Bronze Bomber. And let me tell y'all, he's not the Bronx Bomber. He's the Bronze Bomber. Y'all know why he called himself the Bronze Bomber for y'all people who think he can't fight? It's because he won the Bronze Medal in the Olympics. Um, How many people can't fight win medals? Yeah, he started late, but he got to know something, B. He got it. But anyway. The bronze bomber outlined that his side put in stipulations, put stipulations in place once Fury could not complete in July due to contracting COVID, supposedly or uh, allegedly. Then that's when I use alleged. When we definitely, you know, when it's really shaky, you know what I'm saying? But uh. Wilder had to wait another three months for his opportunity and says he made sure this time that the belt was on the line. Not only in the fight, but if there's a pullout. Now I got a question. Why is Deontay Wilder and everybody talking about a pullout, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Ain't nobody scared, right? Boxers don't be scared this, that, and the third. There's boxers that admitted that they were afraid of other boxers, but they were in the ring, so they had to fight and tell you the truth. Have you ever seen a scared animal fight? Have you ever seen one? Boy, they come out them corners, them cats come out them corners, and them dogs and get off their back. <laughs> Yo, they be that raw, because they scared. So the fear made them do extra stuff to protect themselves. So all that not being scared stuff, you can throw it out the window. Just because you in there fighting don't mean that you ain't scared. You can cut it out. You scared. Tyson Fury scared. But anyway, it's uh, and and then and then he says if he doesn't show up, he's going to have to suffer the consequences. The penalties have been set 
boys. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, they went on about their skepticism. And then Deontay Wilder also said, so it's a win-win situation for me. It's a lose-lose situation for him. That's the great thing about it because the saying, the saying has, yo, go, go ahead and leave him on the, on the counter. I get him. Says, that's the great thing about it because the saying has always said that history repeats itself, he added. Training hard with my new coach, Malik Scott, um, Wilder has always been skeptical of Fury's diagnosis in the first place. I didn't believe he had no COVID, you know. Look at his actions. Look at what he's done. He's been at different places and stuff like that. He definitely doesn't act like it, he explained to the PBC podcast. But let me say this too. Shouts out to 78 Sports for the interview he had with Wilder. Yo, let me tell you something. Yeah, and this is LDBC too, y'all. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got to announce it because, you know, the work is being put in. I see them brothers out there doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, look. <laughs> Say what you want about the LDBC. They get exclusive interviews and they're on their P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got my P's right now. I'm just on the Q's. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to add them P's to it. I ain't worried about it. Just, you know, I got to get the hustle on B. That's more important right now than anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what I mean. And um, shouts out to my cuz. My cuz. My cuz on my page. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, I got I got to shout his behind out. But it's the cuz that's from Cypress Avenue. You know what I'm saying? He can confirm anything I've said about anything. And you know what I'm saying? Pistol Pete, that we live next. He, he, he was living in the house with us. Him and his brother, they was living with us. All right, cuz name is Word on the Streets Enterprises, Comatose Recordings, and Dexter's Lab Studios. You'll see them on a couple of my videos, you know what I'm saying? And that's about it. But other than that, we need to link up, you know what I'm saying? He need to get his behind on this show so he can tell y'all some stories. He was on that block way longer than me. Ooh! <laughs> Yo, let me tell y'all. Cyprus was wow, but this ain't about Cyprus. It's about Deontay Wilder. And this is about your boy Tyson Fury. Your boy Tyson Fury scared. Chicken. He fertilizer. You know what I'm saying? You know why I called him fertil call him fertilizer? See, I keep telling you, I, I I lived in the country in Georgia, so I know about the country life. I was I had my own truck and I was picking up sod, right? And they had this fertilizer. And it was one particular type of fertilizer. And that's the fertilizer I attribute to Tyson Fury. Y'all want to know what that um, fertilizer was? It was chicken shit. O&B signing out. Peace.